A fireworks today at a congressional hearing over President Trump's immigration policies. Yeah, House Democrats blasted Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now. And Dave, things got pretty heated at times today. Well, that's for sure. And members of the Trump administration are now finding out uh, real up close and personal how difficult it can be uh, now with the Democrats in control of the House. The Democrats leaving no doubt today. There's a new boss running the House of Representatives. They challenged the Homeland Security Secretary on virtually every immigration related issue that came up and there were plenty of them. Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen came to the Capitol to defend President Trump's national emergency declaration at the border. We need a barrier. We, we cannot take operational control of the border without it. But House Democrats at hearings on Wednesday, including San Pedro Congresswoman Nanette Barragon, had some very different concerns, like the practice of separating children from their parents who crossed the border illegally. It began with this question from New York Congresswoman Kathleen Rice. Why did you wait until May 4th to issue implementation guidelines? Uh, because we wanted to work within the department to ensure we could do it in an appropriately safe way with compassion. Do you know how outrageous that sounds? You wanted to separate children and families, and you wanted to do it with compassion? So in the meantime, you didn't do anything at all, and you let kids be separated without tracking them. You either have someone who is intentionally giving false testimony before a congressional committee, or you have the head of an agency who is beyond clueless. House oh, Homeland clear. Security yes, Committee I Chairman know. Benny it's Thompson clear. joined his Democratic colleagues in trying to pin down Secretary down. Nielsen. Are we still using cages for children? Uh, sir, we don't use cages for children in the border facilities that you've been to. Uh, they were not made uh, to detain children. Just yes question. or no, are we still putting children in cages? All you have to do is admit it. If it's a bad policy, then change it. But don't mislead the sir, committee. And Secretary Nielsen appeared to be looking to a higher authority at some points in the hearing to help her out when the questions turned to treatment of asylum seekers. They are not turned away. Basically, they are allowed have to make said, their claim. Well, let me tell you, Madam Secretary, either you're lying to this committee or you don't know what's happening at the border. Nonetheless, Trump administration officials insist that the new numbers clearly make the case for a border wall. We're on pace for over 700,000 crossings this year. Uh, that's closer to historic highs than historic lows. And there could be more drama of a different kind tomorrow. On Thursday, Customs and Border Protection officials are scheduled to testify about problems in recruiting Border Patrol agents. Those problems include a consulting firm with a contract worth up to $300 million, which reportedly has successfully recruited only two agents during the first 10 months of the deal. Not a very good deal, Jeff, huh?